Hello everyone, Emmanuel here. Welcome to part 3 of PBR Rendering with Blender and Octane. Today, we're going to talk about Tree Planner and some other material projections and how to implement them from scratch. Sometimes, you have a tailable material like the ones you find in Substance Source and Megascans, or the ones you create in Substance Designer, and you want to use them without adding UVs to your geometry, either because it is not necessary or there are some other constraints. For those scenarios, a great alternative to UVs are projections. For example, here I have a material I created from scratch in Designer, and I'm using my live link to create the shader network and assign the material to the Blender's default cube using UVs. As you can see, since the cube UVs are not optimized for the texture, the results look bad. And send the material again, but with a box projection setup. As you can see, the result is better, even without using UVs. So let's learn how to do that from scratch. By the way, if you want to know more about my plugins, the links are in the description. Let's open Blender for Octane and create a new material for the default cube. Now let's add an image texture node, open the material image, and connect it to the albedo color. Now we need to choose which type of projection we want to use. We can categorize the projections as shape-based, position-based, and code-based. The position based are good for decals, for example, and the code or OSL projections are for complex shaders. Today, we're going to focus on shape based. So let's check the shape based projections. The box, sphere, and cylindrical work by encapsulating the geo and projecting the texture from all the sides. And to add them, all you need to do is add a projection node and connect it to the projection input of the image texture node. If you want to adjust the position, scale, or rotation, you can add a 3D transform node. The only parameter is the coordinate space. If you set it to world space, the texture will change depending on the position of the object. If it's object space, it won't. The normal space will result in a similar effect to a Cartesian to polar transformation of the texture. Now it's time to talk about Tree Planner. To use it, we need to add a Tree Planner projection node, an image texture node, and a Tree Planner texture node. Connect the Tree Planner projection to the projection of the image texture, and the image texture to the axis you want to use. Then connect the Tree Planner to the albedo color. As you can see, the image is being projected only in the selected axis. If we connect the image to all the axis inputs, it seems like Tree Planner is the same as Box Projection. But there are three major differences. First, you can project a different image in each axis. Second, since you control the projection at axis level, you can transform each axis independently. And third, you can blend the different axis projections by defining a blending angle. In my experience, most of the times, box, cylindrical, and spheric projections will get the job done. But having the flexibility of the triplanar projection can really help a lot on those remaining scenarios. So be sure you try them all. Well, that's all for now. See you in the next video.